Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel where we're talking about everything crypto, but we love mining and that's actually what started our crypto journey here. Today, we're gonna be talking about crypto mining, Bitcoin mining, Ethereum mining here in 2021. It is more profitable than it has ever been. Like, people are getting rich mining cryptocurrency, let alone investing in it and the coins go up and in retrospect, what you mine actually turns out to be even more profitable and all kinds of other crazy stuff. That's a little much. Today we're not going to be reviewing if it is still profitable. We're going to be reviewing just how insanely profitable it is to be mining these different cryptocurrencies. We're going to talk about Bitcoin mining, Ethereum mining. We're going to talk about ASIC mining, application specific integrated circuit miners, okay? Purpose built machines, custom computers, literally just for mining cryptocurrencies. We're going to look at those, evaluate those, and look at the mining profitability involved. We're also going to look at GPU mining, graphics cards, things in your gaming PC, your workstation, and people like myself, I'll be honest, we get a bunch of them and we slap them on one computer and we hash some serious crypto. In addition to that, we're also going to look at CPU mining. Is CPU mining still relevant? Is it profitable? Is it worth it? We're going to look at FPGA mining for a bit as well. That's field programmable gate arrays. And an FPGA quick summary, it's like an in-between with a graphics card and an ASIC miner. It's more specialized, but it's still a general purpose piece of hardware. But it's some pretty advanced technical stuff. Again, guys, I've been mining for cryptocurrency for years. I'm not saying I know everything, but I've definitely learned a couple things along the way. And this noise, this white crypto miner noise, I never escape it. I hear it when I sleep, I hear it everywhere. These mining rigs, they're running everywhere throughout my house, and it's been throughout my houses in the years because it's just, I can't turn them off. I, I wanna get more coins. I wanna earn passive income with this little custom computer. Get more of them earn more passive income and that you know i want to address one quick question before we jump full on into today's video okay let me i'll step out of the miner in order to do that but basically it's simply this is why would you even mine like why would you get a mining rig what's the point right it's real simple basically you buy this miner okay not telling you to do you do whatever you want to do but you can buy the miner and then once you break even, you mine enough coin to pay off that miner and also the associated electric bill. So your initial investment along with the expenses. After that, straight profit, straight cash, baby. It's earning a passive income. You're stacking money. It's a beautiful thing. And that's the path to financial freedom. Not necessarily through mining, but just earning income, you know, returns on your investment, just passive income. I mean, it's not the only way, but it's one of the most interesting ways to me as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I make money when I'm sleeping thanks to my mining rigs but enough i'm not bragging i'm not trying to come off like that i'll just recap it i'm excited i've been waiting you know a while to see this exciting crypto bull run so let's run 10 seconds of tails the best shiba inu as well as the best dogecoin in the world ever and then jump into today's video outlining reviewing and illustrating mining profitability and the associated hardware and a little bit on where you can try to get some but i will tell you a bit, a bit of a spoiler it's pretty sought after right now Here's a quick message from our month's video sponsor, Compass, who are aiming to become the best marketplace for the purchase of Bitcoin mining ASICs and the best place to find cheap power prices at verified mining co-location facilities around the world. Mine with Compass with our link in the video description below. Enough talking. Let's do the video, right? So last year I talked about how $22 million worth of cryptocurrency are mined a day. And what's crazy is right now in this market, more than $22 worth of Ethereum are mined every single day. So previously it was a total market and I honestly, I was rounding up a little bit, right? So now we're rounding down from 24 just based off Ethereum. This is a lot of, oh, okay, no, I never do my green screen stuff, right? All right, it's up here, you know, you see this stuff, boom, there it is, new issuance, 24 hours, using Masari's on-chain effects. Oh, um, it's super useful tools, right? $42 million worth of Bitcoin are mined every single day right now. $24, $24 million worth of Ethereum. 
1.5 million dollars worth of litecoin even almost a million dollars worth of bitcoin cash and wall street bets and elon have been pumping dogecoin uh, and don't forget tiktok have been pumping doge so hard that almost a million dollars of doge a limitless supply and just you know massively generated out of uh, chinese script mining farms almost a million dollars there pretty pretty crazy stuff a lot of money to go around but how do you get a piece of the pie right uh, so we look over here and this is a website that aggregates data based around projected ASIC mining profitability these are all purpose-built crypto mining devices it's no surprise that they people make these things right because so much money is there to be had I mean th these are industries where if you have the devices you will be able to get the biggest share of this pie crazy okay so we've talked about the Lindsay Phoenix. We've talked about the InnoSilicon A11. Uh, not to keep shilling my videos, but they're here on the channel if you want to learn more about those. We're working on an InnoSilicon A10 Pro 6 gigabyte review um, and, and just you know, a lot of stuff going on. But the fact of the matter is that Ethereum remains to be the most profitable coin to mine, um, you know, by per miner. Obviously, Bitcoin mining is the most profitable coin to mine just based on how much money is there, but there's the highest competition at very established Bitcoin mining hardware. We come down the list and again, it mainly revolves around Bitcoin and ETH hash, which is Ethereum mining. There's a couple other things like Decred miners have recently become, new models have become profitable and the price has gone up that has contributed to that. There's the Equihash mining algorithm, which is really just Zcash, which you know years later has finally gone up a little bit in price, which is very refreshing to see. I uh, was wondering if that was ever going to happen again. And uh, you know, in this bull market, we see new uh, Bitcoin SHA-256 mining algorithms coming out. And then also Handshake, which we've talked about here numerous times. The biggest, most established, most popular producer, manufacturer of ASIC miners, most notably Bitcoin miners, would be Bitmain and their Ant miners. And you're like, oh, cool, I'll get one of those. Sold out, okay? These things are so much more expensive than they used to be due to the market, the increase in Bitcoin's price, Ethereum's price, and everything else. So they make more money. So they are charging more money for a device that costs them roughly about the same about the same amount of money to produce. And by the way, they're making a lot of money originally. Okay. I'd like to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Heim. And they have created an ERC20 token called Heim. They're doing numerous things. But one of the things is that they are doing is going to be revolving a bit around DeFi and decentralized finance. Their token will soon be traded on Uniswap as well as SushiSwap. They have a fee-less essential services like processing of real-time queries and searches will drive up adoption of Heim technology in their ecosystem. And this, is, this will likely, they claim, lead to price appreciation of the Heim token. They say it's game changing, revolutionary, project intersecting next generation of anonymous blockchains and true machine consciousness. So I'm interested to see where they're going. They've got a lot of stuff going on as you've seen that we've been rolling across the stream here today. So check out their link in the video description below. Inno Silicon, I would rank as the number two a producer of publicly available miners because there is a whole dark side to mining. People with millions and millions of dollars just go ahead and privately manufacture their own miners. But that's a whole different day, dark side of it all point of view. But yet again, we're dealing with sold out. Okay, so that brings me to Coin Mining Central. And, and look, they didn't pay us. They're not a sponsor of the video or anything like that. But if you do buy anything with them, you can use the code BOSSCOIN for 3% off. I don't make any money if you do that. They help us source miners, which is actually why I'm bringing them up. Okay, so you can reach out to them, tell them what miner you want. If they have it, they'll sell it to you. If not, they'll try to get it for you and put it on the list. In this market, you will be dealing with a reseller if you only want one device. You need to buy... I mean, even the, even most people laugh at ten, orders of 10 and 20 miners. I mean, you need to be ordering like 100 miners to really get the attention of like these bigger distributors. And so this is one of the most common questions I get is what miner should I get to start with? What's the best starter miner? Other than building a GPU rig, which we'll talk about here later in the video, the Gold Shell HS1 Plus is the best starter miners three hundred dollars it makes more money than it burns it can sit on your desk we, I mean, we did a whole video review on it um it's fun it's easy to use it's easy to set up there's a nice um gooey 
miner dashboard that logs all the hashes that you made. Uh, it's cool stuff. You should really check it out if that's what you want to do. We do have an affiliate link. It's not why I'm telling you about it, but I appreciate if you use our links to support the channel. That's out below. But speaking of ways that I try to earn more money, okay, the, one of the main things I'm doing is using BlockFi. I'm mining my coins directly into BlockFi because gas fees are ridiculous. So any Ethereum, I don't want to play around with DeFi and all that crazy stuff, you know, that I would normally just say send right into, uh, into oh, quote, whoa, what? Into my, into my MetaMask right here. Um, you know, so I send some coins here and do some crazy DeFi stuff, but not the focus of today's video. I mine into BlockFi and I earn, automatically start earning interest. Okay, but we do have a code with them. If you use our link, you can be eligible for the sign up bonus um, and you can get up to $250 for free and you earn 8.6% interest on stable coins. They're based out of the US. It's pretty much as safe as it gets when it comes to this stuff. Um, so something I can, you know, happily recommend you guys check out and I leave a lot of my coins in there and I have no problem sleeping at night with them there okay so you know th this begs the question of all, all these miners here um, they're very expensive they're very they're very expensive they're the most profitable um, they're the most efficient and because of that they're highly sought after and very expensive I mean you're gonna be looking to spend several thousand dollars to get into the the latest and greatest um, or even just simply the good <laughs> miners when it comes to this. But they are in stock, available from resellers. There's other ones out there. You can always go to eBay, but if you don't know this, traditionally, the highest prices are on eBay because people trust eBay. They know if they get scammed on eBay, that they will like, eBay will likely, likely step in and protect them. Um, because of that there's just a general premium and this is also where many people go to just buy a miner if they're uncomfortable or don't know of any other sites that's another good note is that there's so many scam sites out there guys don't get scammed if you see a site it seems good too good to be true that's because it is um, there's so much scamming going on it's running rampant it's exhausting so let's go to the next chapter CPU mining Right, we look, we look at this. How about 1,700 hashes, power consumption? You know, they, this is rough numbers because CPU mining doesn't make that much money, to be blunt. And it, and it's you know, it's something if you have it, you set it up to CPU CPU mine. Otherwise, to be honest, I would not bother. Okay, so this is taking these numbers, right? So remember these. These are based around the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. Um, there is an updated version of this, the 3900XT but it's pretty expensive. Even just off Amazon, you can get this one right now for 484. You look at the break even based off a residential electric rate here. I mean, you would basically make your money back in a year and a half at the current rate. Monero has gone up significantly in price recently, but it's just, it's really the only coin that's that's popular for CPU mining and on a lot of exchanges and easy to exchange and, and everything else like that. So, with all that in mind, not to go on and on about CPU mining, we've been talking about it for years. The summary is very simple. Get this ad off my screen. We just talked about Bitcoin. It's Good literally. Hello, this is James. How can I help you? Hey, how you doing, James? Good. So what can I do for you? Hey, I was just wondering, like, what exactly does your does your business do? I think another business is um, using your phone number as their listed phone number. I, I'm I'm worried I'm not calling the right place. Uh, this is an attorney's officer. So you, you guys like don't do anything with Bitcoin, right? Or Bitcoin lending or Bitcoin loans or anything like that? Uh, no, just just legal stuff. Literally the new BitConnect. Way to go, Crypto Compare. Um, you're advertising something that is extremely risky and uh, whatever. That's their problem, right? That's because they don't look out for their audience. When I advertise a scam to you, I tell you that this is probably a scam and make a funny video about it. So anyway, without CPU mining, is it's super cool concept. You know, we take it back to Bitcoin's roots. One CPU, one vote. That's how, you know, maybe it was hopefully originally pretend, or intended to be and so forth. But the fact of the matter is, is it's, I don't think it's wise to build out, say, a CPU mining farm here in 2021. If you've got the gear for maybe your gaming PC or your, your video editing rig 
works kind of like just workstation um, or maybe you're building out a GPU mining rig and you want to go big on the CPU and run that in conjunction with the GPU miners. Completely understand and respect that and long term you're very likely to make your money back and then some and get some sweet coin along the way. But overall I can't say that CPU mining is worth it and it's not really looking like it like it's likely to change. Which brings me to our next subject, and no, it's not GPUs yet, that's gonna be the one after this. Real quick, FPGA mining, I hate FPGA mining, it's such a hassle, it's always been a bad time. The gear is always so expensive, it's always hard to get, it's hard to get the bit streams, you gotta know the right people. Stuff underperforms, people under deliver, and you know, it's, I've seen time and time again, it's the most unlikely thing to break even and make money with when it comes to mining but it still exists and there's still FPGA miners out there and one of the coolest ones we have reviewed was the TPS 1530 which I mean this thing it, it basically was aiming to make FPGA mining simple and more accessible but it doesn't seem that it ever really truly took off and uh, you know so it's it's a bit of a shame uh, so to, to put it simply FPGA mining you know, you will very most likely, you will make more money than you burn um, in this era, but there's not a lot of coins that are building out for FPGA mining algorithms. Digibyte and their AutoCrypt mining algorithm was one of the main, uh, really the only notable one to, to do that offhand that I can remember. And there's just not enough support out there. It's not like Ethereum's out here like, hey, we're gonna change to an FPGA mineable algorithm. Um, you know, they're actually trying to move away from mining. and. You know, let's, let's, answer that, answer, let's answer that real quick. I get that question so much, I literally made a video. I keep referencing, I've been making a lot of videos lately. I've been referencing a lot of videos in this video. But the simple fact is, how much longer will Ethereum be mineable? 2023 is my estimate, based on all this stuff. I mean, they, they have Ethereum 2.0 is live. None of the developers, as far as I know, even mine Ethereum. Why would they want Ethereum to be mineable? They don't mine it. It's very simple. It's common sense here. They want to go away. All these China manufacturers, they make these... Uh, Ethereum ASIC miners that are much more efficient than GPU mining rigs for Ethereum, and they're making a killing. And uh, you just you just look at the way everything adds up. Uh, but anyway, the, without going on a huge rant here, the simple fact is that Ethereum is like a giant slug. Okay, it's a beautiful slug, but it's a giant slug. They take a long time to do anything. So let's talk about GPU mining, and the profitability literally revolves around mining Ethereum. What a surprise! So, if you can get an RTX 3090, good luck, okay? After everyone start, after crypto mining profits went up, people were already snatching these up because they're super efficient. More people snatched them up. They didn't make enough of them. They blame it on COVID supply chain issues. Everybody's working from home. They want better GPUs and custom computers for work. And they also want them for gaming. Yes, absolutely sounds fun to me. The Radeon 7, man, that was a super fun card and it still proves to be an absolute beast okay this thing is pulling over ten dollars a day mining ethereum with a residential electric rate the 3090 making over twelve dollars a day but let's step it down i mean the flagship previous uh gen 2080 ti is supposed to be pulling about seven dollars a day the 5700 xt which again is a card from 2019 well, making over six dollars a day Right now, I'm mining only Ethereum with about 20 graphics cards. I've got P104s, which are basically 1080s, which if you want the, to see the number there for reference, you know their performance is more or less like almost $4 a day, which is incredible considering how old these graphics cards are. I also have uh, oh, a 480s, eight gigabytes, and they're making $3 a day per card, which I never thought that I would see again with these cards, especially with the increased development and production of Ethereum ASIC miners. So GPU mining is super profitable. So you're like, yeah, awesome, sweet. Let me buy some GPUs. Good luck, man. A nice little chance you got going on there. So they're out here selling RX 580s that were originally apparently intended for other things for $380. Oh, and they're sold out. Uh, then we go over to like Best Buy. Again, almost $400. You got 3070s out here out of stock. You've got 1650s, overpriced and out of stock. What was supposed to be end of life is now the highest selling card because they were the only ones that were still available. It's, it's crazy seeing these numbers, 1660 TIs listed for $400 per card and completely sold 
out. I mean, you like you think I want a game with a 1030 with two? I'm not buying this. I mean, what is this? An artifact? Gosh. Oh yeah, let, let me let me get the ugliest, crappiest 1660 super I've ever seen. Oh, uh, by the way, I don't know. I mean, just my personal opinion, my experience. PNY sucks. They're like one of the worst brands. Um, so if you can choose to not get PNY, I mean, there's a reason that this. Well, anyway, I'm ra I'm ranting too much today. We go over to Amazon. It's the same issue. They're sold out everywhere. How about a 3070 for more than double the price? Um, just checked. No, no, I I, I don't think so. Uh, so the the fact of the matter here is that it's very difficult to get gear. You can get ASIC miners, you will be paying a premium, but everyone's paying a premium and people are okay paying a premium because it's very profitable. CPUs, I mean, you, you know, you could definitely get the CPU you want for a more reasonable price. Unfortunately, you're, you're gonna have a hard time getting a graphics card to go with it. Graphics cards are so expensive, secondhand market, they're all commanding a premium. People are scalping these if they can, just because there's money to be made there. If there's money to be made, people, they won't stop. They're, they're after it, they wanna make the money. Um, and you know, it's unfortunate for better and worse, but that's just kind of the world and life that we live here, right? So building out a GPU mining rig in 2021, I, I, honestly, you just, you're not gonna get prices that make it super awesome. I mean, you needed to, to kind of do it last year. By the way, we were talking about it then. So shameless plug, you should have subscribed to the channel. But again, um, you know, like it's referred to as basically, we're in a seller's market for hardware. Uh, and it's just based off demand. And everybody wants it, the profitability is there. It's you're gonna have it's just the simple answer is you're gonna have a very hard time doing it I wish I had like some kind of cool way or connection But everybody's buying these up the second they come available um, for numerous reasons big mining farms with millions and millions of dollars at their disposal are you know inking private deals and they're getting all the cards because with the right electric rate they're breaking even even if they're paying retail or more than that very quickly thanks to ethereum trading it's such a high price right now and it's kind of the same thing for the asic miners the the people people are paying a lot they make a lot of money and it's just that simple so i don't want to sound discouraging i mean it's exciting there's a lot of opportunities and the simple fact um here it, it, the best opportunity to get into mining right now whether you like it or not they're asic miners uh they're the most readily available and they just have better volume, better supply channels compared to GPUs right now. Because, I mean, when do you even see graphics cards in stock? I mean, maybe if you camp out at a store overnight. But, I mean, are you really going to camp out at a store overnight to buy the limit of like one to two cards to maybe make, you know, $10, $20 a day with that? And, and you're going to be spending several thousand dollars by the time you get those graphics cards, depending on what they are, along with building a PC. I mean, obviously there's variables here. And that's not directed at anyone in particular, just to be clear. Um, it's just, I don't know, just speaking from everything I'm seeing in, in the experience right now, and this is such a common question we are getting. So anyway, I could keep talking about this stuff. I love this stuff. That's why I do this full time. And I've been, I've been trying to bring you guys a video every single day here on the channel. So if you've enjoyed this video at all, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below, and let me know your thoughts on mining here and how it's just so incredibly profitable in 2021 but unfortunately it's so difficult to get gear or expand your gear to participate in that so as always i appreciate you i'll see you on the next one